I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got this Nine of Wands, and it's with the Ten of Wands. So, the Nine of Wands is telling me that for some of you, you were stressed out about the connection or stressed out about something that happened between you and your person. And the relationship started to get really heavy. Because if you look at the Ten of Wands, it's the card that's below the word pass. This man, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So, it felt like the connection was at a hard place. Yeah, it felt difficult. It could have felt like it was a burden for some of you. For some of you, you felt like you were carrying the world on your shoulders. And with the Nine of Wands here, the card that's above the word pass, what does this also tell me is that for some of you, you were ready to close yourself off to this. For some of you, you could have wanted to build a wall. Nine of Wands can be about building a wall and not letting anyone come past your barricade. And this is how some of you felt about this person or the connection. Stressed out. Things got really difficult between you and your person. You just wanted to put up a wall and not let anyone in. Well, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we got the strength card. And it's with this Ace of Swords. Now, the strength card can be about, um, it can be about practicing self-love, self-respect. It can be about being strong. It can also be about um, self-empowerment. And Gemini, for some of you, you're ready for a new beginning. Because the Ace, whenever you hear the word Ace in the tarot, that Ace of Swords, the card that's below the word present, that's about a new beginning. But this, this Ace of Swords, it means that you have to cut something out, put a stop to something. Which brings about some brand new, fresh starts, some great new beginning. And that could be how you're feeling, or you're going to start to feel that way. You could start to feel it's time for a new day. Yeah, because being stressed out and closing yourself off to, to certain situations... And just feeling like life is difficult or being with this person is difficult. That's not where you want to be. So, coming up, you could start to practice self-love, self-respect, and, um, and empowering yourself and being the best that you can be. Now, for some of you Geminis, because the strength card is here, you could just be feeling like the connection is not strong and you're just ready to cut it out yeah and go towards a new beginning but let's move on over let's take a look and see what the challenge is we got the two of cups and so the six of pentacles now the two of cups is actually is actually beautiful it can be about the ideal partner the perfect mate um there's a lot of love when you get the two of cups and it could feel like a union, a deep connection. Yeah, it's really, really nice, this Two of Cups. It's just absolutely beautiful. 
Now, for some of you, Geminis, uh, this Two of Cups could be someone that you know already. It could be the same person that's stressing you out, or it could be someone new coming towards you. And you know right off the bat that this this feels right. It, or if you know someone already, you could feel like they're more suited for you. Like they're the perfect mate for you. You could already know someone like this. So someone's coming towards you like this. And for some of you, it's the same person. They could be reaching out to you wanting to give more or wanting to start to give to the connection and i say this because you got the six of pentacles here it's a card that's below the word challenge six of pentacles can be about giving it can be about generosity so basically gemini you got someone coming towards you who you're gonna feel like they want to give to this and it's gonna feel good Two of Cups, there's nothing ugly about the Two of Cups. This could be the same person that's stressing you out. Could be someone new. Or it could be someone different that you already know. You're going to feel and you're going to... They're going to let you know that they want to give to this. Six of Pentacles is a good card in the tarot. It's about a good relationship that prospers. Now, for some of you... This person could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. So, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So, we got the Queen of Pentacles and it's with the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Pentacles can be about falling back, just taking comfort and joy in the ordinary things. Because if you look at the Queen of Pentacles, it's the card of it's the card above the word outcome. This lady, she's sitting in her lounge chair in her backyard, and she's just taking comfort and joy in, in just a simple, basic thing. She's got her dog sleeping on her feet, keeping her toes warm. And she's feeding the bir birds and the squirrels that come by, and she's cuddling a huge pinnacle. So this is telling me that she's just trying to take satisfaction, knowing she's got some money in the bank, knowing that her, her dog is healthy, or she's just embracing the love that she gets from just the free, simple, ordinary things in life. So that could be you just wanting to fall back because for some of you, you like I said, you went through a hard time, a difficult time with your person. You could be trying to get ready for this new beginning that's coming up with the Ace of Swords. But you know something has to be cut out. Definitely with this Ace of Swords. Something has to be put a stop to. And then things turn around. Someone is coming in, Two of Cups. Or it could be your, the person that stressed you out so much. They could be ready to give to give more to this. And the connection will prosper. Or, like I said, it could be someone new. And now, uh, whoever this is, the Queen of Wands is here. This person will be very, very determined. Queen of Wands is very determined. Very confident. This Queen of Wands is used to getting what she wants. She could be egotistical. So, someone... I would say someone good, or someone that wants to really be with you, is coming in. Got the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, which is good. So, for now, it looks like you could just fall back and practice self-love, self-respect. Try to feel more empowered. But you got someone that's coming in that's going to be very, very determined about you. And you'll feel that they want to give to this. So, Gemini, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, 
general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Gemini reading. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Jim and I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.